All right, guys, so let's take our day makeup and turn it into a night glam. Please subscribe if you guys haven't already. Click that notification bell down below and subscribe. Now let's get right into it. So this is, um, if you guys haven't seen the previous video, I did a day makeup kind of natural glam, you know, like an everyday glam. So this video is going to be leaning towards a night glam. So what this is going to be um, the main focus of um, the video, what I'm trying to do is um, instead of, you know, sometimes we don't got time to change our makeup, right? So what we are going to do is just start um, making our makeup a little bit more dramatic because now it's going to be nighttime and we want to go out and look fierce and good. So um, we don't got time to be taking all of this makeup and reapplying it. So let's just go with what we have already, you know, and just emphasize and, you know, make everything better. So I'm just shading in um, and doing my full Instagram brow. So I filled it in with a little bit of dip brow from Anastasia. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, carve my brows out with some concealer. This is just going to give us that ultra Instagram brow. And it's going to make our eyebrow look just really fierce and really snatch, guys. As you guys can tell, look how beautiful this eyebrow is coming out. Um... Believe it or not, guys, my eyebrows are probably like the best part of my makeup, I think, personally. And that's what a lot of you guys always comment on. And um, it's actually my least favorite to do. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm just going to be taking a angled brush from Morphe. I will have all the brushes listed down below again. And you guys just stay tuned and follow me. Get glam with me if you guys are going to be going out. Maybe you guys want to try out this makeup tutorial. <laughs> So now I'm just going to be um, blending all of that concealer under the brow out. And we're going to be going in with the Nubian palette from Juvia's Place. And um, I've never really used this before, but I really liked this eyeshadow palette, guys. I love all of Juvia's Place eyeshadows. I'm taking those two neutral shades, putting that into the crease, and just going to be blending windshield wiper motions. Those two colors together are so beautiful. Look at you guys. I didn't even have to blend or... Look how pigmented this shit is. That's what I really love about Juvia's Place. You guys can never go wrong with them. I love them so, so much. And so I'm just going to be um, intensifying this color and just keep packing this color on until I get the color payoff that I want. So now I'm going to be taking a more detailed brush and just putting that into the crease. And you guys, so if you guys want to see this natural makeup, it's the last tutorial before this one. So make sure you guys go check it out. So now I'm going to be picking up that really chocolate reddish shade. And I'm going to be putting that into the crease. And that is going to be the color that we're going to be focusing on now. And just we're going to be trying to build this up so that we can get the color payoff that we want. And you guys, I just love how beautiful these eyeshadows blend. And now I'm going to be taking the Jouer Cosmetic Skinny Dip Eyeshadow Palette. And we're going to be taking that shade in Midnight Swim. It did look a little bit darker, but it's coming off greener than, um, it, which is whatever, you know. We're just trying to make this um, glam into a night glam. So I don't mind. But you guys, look how pigmented these shimmers are. They're so beautiful. So now we're just going to be blending um, those two colors together just so that way they look a little bit more seamless and we don't want it to look so harsh. As you guys can see, the crease color on the eye that I'm working on right now looks a lot harsher than the other one, but we're going to fix that right now. As you guys can see, I'm just taking that Morphe blending brush and I'm just going to be blending, blending, and blending so that way it doesn't look that harsh and you guys, it looks a lot better already. So now we're going to be popping on some lashes. I'm using Miami Lashes from Lily Galici. Signature Lash. This is one of my faves. Um, but I'm just going to be putting this eyelash on. It just makes this look go all together. I really love this because um, these eyelashes still allow the eyeshadow to peek through and show up. So now I'm going to be taking my um, lash curler. This is a, the single lash curler. I don't know what you call this one. But... I really love this because it. I've noticed such difference when I use this lash curler. It just pinches all my natural lashes with the fake ones and looks so nice. And now I don't have any eyelashes poking through on the bottom and, you know, making it look like a little wonky. 
So now I'm going to be taking the Morphe setting spray. And because we had the makeup on previously, that natural makeup, I want to set all of those powders because I'm going to go in with this um, foundation stick. And I did not want to not set my face and um, because what, what it does, it's going to allow all of those powders that were on previously to sink into my skin um, instead of just sitting on top. Because if I were not to do that, this um, makeup would probably crumble on my face, which would would it look cute so now we're just gonna be blending out with a sigma f80 kabuki brush this is my favorite foundation brush at the moment you can use my coupon code makeup by junior on any sigma product so be sure to check them out i really love their brushes i really love their eyeshadow palettes they're really good so now just blend 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 and that's all we're pretty much doing we're basically just putting foundation on top of our other foundation um, do I recommend it? Because I know a lot of you guys will talk crap and say, oh my god, but that's so gross, and that's this, and that's that. So what I do recommend is that you guys blot your face first, go in with some setting spray, and make sure your makeup just looks really flawless, guys. Um, what do I break out? I don't have that issue breaking out. If you're a type of person, you should know your skin, and if you're going to break out really easily, then I wouldn't suggest you do it. But if you're someone like me who doesn't really break out that often, then go for it. Go for it. And now, obviously, we're using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and we're just going to be blending out with the Morphe sponge. As you guys can see, I really like to use this concealer and this sponge to clean up the eyeshadow. It just gives it the sharp line that I'm looking for. And look, guys, right there. Oh, yeah. Look how clean it looks now, guys. And it's not messy. So that's why when I do my eyeshadow, I really don't always have to be so careful. Because I know I can always clean it up with my concealer and my sponge. That's what I love about this Morphe sponge. And it's $6.99. Can you go wrong with that? Hell no. So now we're going to be pushing up some RCMA No Color Powder. And we're just going to be baking the under eyes. I love this powder so much. I just love how it highlights underneath my eye. And it doesn't look too white. It doesn't um, give me flashback. I absolutely love this powder, guys. So now you guys know I love to bake my nose. I always do it. Now I'm taking my Maybelline powder in 02 medium. And I'm just going to be using um, an F25 tapered brush from Sigma. And I'm just going to be packing that everywhere else that I did not highlight. And this is going to just act as, you know, a powder. So what it's going to do is just going to set all that foundation and concealer that I have around it. So that way it doesn't move. So when I go ahead and put bronzer and all that, you know, it's going to blend really seamless. And you guys, like I said, Sigma, you guys have my coupon code. It's Makeup by Junior. Um, go ahead and use it. I just, I really love Sigma products. So now let's move on and sweep all of this bakage underneath our eyes. And now we're going to be taking a Morphe M530 brush. This is a contour brush. I really love this brush. And I'm just going to be taking a little bit of that Hula Benefit bronzer. Since I am a little bit more bronzing now, bronzing now because I got a darker, guys, um, it doesn't show up as much. So I will go in a little bit later and use a different powder. But I really love what this does. This gives me that warmth that I'm looking for. And I just love this bronzer. It's like my Holy Grail bronzer. I hope they come out with like a darker shade because they have this one and they also have the light, the hula light, which is for the fair people. So now they need to make a like a deep hula or something, you know, especially for me now that I'm more tan. I do need something a little bit more darker because I like to look a little bit more contour. Contour. So now we're going to be contouring our nose with that hula benefit bronzer. And you guys remember to go on top of your nostril do not contour your nose on the side it will enhance the tip of your nose and it'll also make your nose look just bigger i noticed so many people do that and they like i've said in so many other videos when um they contour their nose they go on the side of their nose which to me it emphasizes their damn nose shape and it just looks ugly you know you're supposed to be snatching your nose and making it look different and so that's why I like, I love to go on the top of the nostril. And the way you guys blend out with your nose contour matters, guys. So make sure you guys blend that shit out. And I'm using a Makeup Shack um, brush for it. 
like I said, I'll have all the info down below. So then now we're going to be taking those two um, transition shades along with um, a little mixture of that dark shade. We're going to be putting that underneath our lower lash line just to smoke it out a little bit and make it a little bit more dramatic. Now this is my favorite cool pencil. This one is from Inglot and um, I forgot, I think 05 or something like that. But I will have it down listed below. I've been using it forever, guys. It's my favorite nude pencil. And it just look how creamy it is, guys. It's amazing. So now I'm going to be going in with MAC Give It Back Lash. And I'm just going to be coating my lower lashes with it. And it just looks so snatched, guys. Look so snatched. So you guys already know that I don't use blush a lot, but I've been using this one from the Benefit palette. And you guys, it's just so beautiful. I can't believe, I cannot believe I'm actually liking this blush. I, I know it doesn't look as much, but in person, it does look really pretty and like really luminous. That's what I really love about this blush. It's like giving me a little bit of color without, you know, making it too much. So now let's just set in all of these powders and especially around the nose and under the eyes because I do not want it to look really, you know, cakey right there. So I'm just going to be applying it and I just want to set all of the makeup in place and then right before it sets, I'm going to go in with some highlighter because it's going to make it boom. But anyway, so now we're going to be taking the liquid lipstick and brunch from Morphe Cosmetics or Morphe Brushes, whatever you want to call them. But um, I really love their liquid lipsticks. They're really good. You guys, they're really hit and miss though. So like this one and Pina is amazing, guys. I don't know about the other ones, but the only ones that I have are these two. And they're, these are amazing. And the reason why I'm saying the other ones are misses is because I tested them on my hand. And they did not look that great, guys. Some of them. But anyway, so now we're going to be taking the new Master Chrome Highlighter. And this was in Molten Golden. And you guys, just look how fucking stunning this shit is. I love to highlight. And you guys, look how beautiful this shit is. And it is drugstore. Can you guys go wrong with fucking drugstore? I don't think so. So now um, we're going to be putting a little bit of Skinny Dip Lip Topper from Jouer Cosmetics. You guys, this is my favorite lip topper right now at the moment. As you guys can tell, I've been using it in the past like three videos. And I think my next video I'm using it as well. I just can't get over a nude lip. But that's pretty much it. Love you guys so much. Thank you guys for tuning in and checking out my video. But anyway, guys, please subscribe and love you guys so much.